Happy holidays, everybody. This is Cooey Mac, and today I will show you how to make a homemade Italian cream cake. We'll start off with two sticks of unsalted butter, softened, one cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of packed brown sugar, and then we're going to blend it together. And to that, we add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. The following ingredients are optional. Two teaspoons of coconut extract. Two teaspoons of cake batter extract. And two teaspoons of butter extract. And then we'll mix it together until it's well blended. In another bowl, we're going to add six large eggs. And then we're going to add one-fourth cup of vegetable oil. Two tablespoons of sour cream. One and one-half cups of buttermilk. And we're going to mix this up. In another bowl, we're going to add three and a half cups of cake flour. Four teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. And then we'll whisk this up until it's well blended together. And then we'll add one third of dry mixture to the butter mixture. Then we'll mix that in. And then we'll add in half of the egg mixture. Then we'll mix that in. And then one third of the dry mixture. And then the remaining egg mixture. And finally, the remaining dry mixture. And then we're going to slowly mix this in until it's well incorporated. And then be sure to scrape down the sides. Next, we're going to pour some vegetable oil inside each of these cake pans. That way, they won't stick. Because that has happened to me before. Right now, I'm making a template using some parchment paper and cardboard. And this is how mine looks like. Now we're going to put these inside the cake pans. And be sure to press them pretty close to the cake pans. And next we're going to pour the cake batter inside each of the cake pans. Make sure you level them pretty well. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes, rotating them every 10 minutes. For the frosting, we'll add two sticks of unsalted butter, softened, two blocks of cream cheese, softened, and then we'll mix that up. Just like this. Next, we'll add four teaspoons of vanilla. And of course, we're going to blend that together. And 
Next, we'll add three and a half cups of powdered sugar. And we're going to slowly mix this up. And be sure to scrape down the sides. And to that, we're going to add two cups of coconut flakes. Followed by two cups of chopped pecans. And this is how yours should look like. This is a turntable I'm using. And on top of that, it has a cardboard. And I put a little bit of frosting on top of that so the cake won't slide around when I try to frost it. It adds a generous amount of frosting on top of the first layer. And then do the same thing to the second layer. And then, of course, add some on top. And then we'll add some frosting on top of the cake and around the cake. But not a whole lot because what we do right now is a crumb coating. That's very important to do that first. That way the cake will stick to the frosting. And then we'll do the final coating on top of that. And this is optional here. All this is is a cake scraper, like one of those ridge cake scrapers for designs and stuff. And this is how mine looks like after I got finished with it. What I did was I added some more pecans and coconuts to it, but I didn't record that part. The full recipe will be in the description, so give it a try.